All right, we're going to perform the indicated operation, which is to divide these two terms. And then we'll simplify. Now, this one looks, I think it looks worse than it is. It's just a matter that it's a very time-consuming process. So please, please don't worry about that. We're going to get through it. Take a deep breath, and we'll figure this out. Now, since there's a, there's a lot of steps in this process, if we were to look at this step-by-step, step, so you may have to look at some other videos about factoring in order to simplify this process. So I've already done the factoring for you. We can see we've taken this term, x squared plus 10x plus 25, and factored it into x plus 5. Essentially, that's x plus 5 squared. And then I've factored out first the 3 from these three terms, 3x squared plus 12x minus 15. So that's where this 3 comes from. And then I factored what was left to x plus 5 times x minus 1. And then this term stays the same, x squared plus 25, but from 3x minus 3, I factored out a 3, which gives us this blue term. From here, I can start canceling out. Uh, already, we can see that we have this x plus 5, which will cancel out this x plus 5. Now, since this is division, what we'll need to do also is to reciprocate this fraction here. And what that allows us to do is to multiply right here uh, the two fractions. And that should make things a little bit easier to simplify. Now the reason this makes it a little bit easier to simplify is that if we have uh, common terms in the numerator and denominator, we can simply cancel those out. We can see and we have an x minus 1 here and an x minus 1 there, but also a 3 that we can cancel out in both the numerator and denominator. And since those are canceled, we have a simplified term now, a fraction, with expressions in the numerator and denominator. And that's it. Be careful, because some of you are going to be tempted to factor this out as though it were the difference of squares. Okay, that's not the case because, again, this is addition. So, as it turns out, we're done with this problem. There's our final answer.